Well, I can tell you this. A place that the president does not want to be is having his current attorney firing back at his longtime attorney. This Why is, not? It's not a healthy spot for Team Trump because Michael Cohen was a trusted fixer and attorney and confidant for many, many years for President Trump and prior to him being president. And if he's decided it's in, is in his interest to flip on Trump, whether he's telling new truths or inventing new stories to help his own self help you know save his own skin that is a war of words that is not particularly helpful to trump for example watching rudy giuliani go on tv and parsing whether certain recordings cut off at a certain time and asking why that's the case mm -hmm. i mean not a healthy spot you know so a couple of developments today that we've seen and that that somewhat coming from giuliani and other reporting and that's that there may not be any other tapes with the president's voice on them. Right. But there are a lot of tapes, which begs the question, <laughs> how many people was he recording, Kennedy? We don't uh, know. No, you don't know. I mean, it, it's legal to do that. And I think what's interesting here is Giuliani is clearly trying to cast so much doubt on the tapes and whether or not they're doctored. And they're not really tapes. I mean, they're digital recordings because he recorded them with his phone. It's not like he had a real to real. And as far as we know, there's only in, one with the president a, a, a on it. A white gate or Watergate era. Uh, recording right. device, you know, essentially it's pretty easy to chop that stuff up on your phone. And I don't know why CNN wasn't more explicit about what they got and question mm. why they didn't get more of it, uh, because that's always confusing. You don't know. And I'm sure like CNN would love to play the world anything that could damage the president. But we're getting so far away from focus and objectivity. And it'll be really interesting to see, you know, it, it is talking about about the president uh, enough to damage his <laughs> reputation that he is ultimately removed from office because that seems to be the aim of many right. of the players here. I, I want to draw everybody's attention to the live picture on the left side of your screen because that is the White House. And of course, we're waiting for Italy's Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte to join our president of the United States uh, inside the White House. They will he'll arrive. I mean, this is very traditional. And so we always like to capture these pictures when they have. This is particularly special and interesting, though, because this man, Conti, is supposed to be or has been said to be perhaps the closest allied supporter of our current president uh, in Europe. So this will be one to watch. They will have a bilateral meeting. They will have a news conference a bit later, and we will cover it as it happens here on Fox News Channel. So that is often to the left of the screen as you look at your TV, and I just wanted to reference that. You know, there has been a little bit of a quiet from Democrats on this. I mean, Chuck Schumer is always out there saying something, right? But it hasn't been the drumbeat. And is this perhaps, Adrian, one of those situations where you just sit back and, and let the attorneys set themselves on proverbial fire. Well, I think a lot of Democrats are realizing that the Mueller investigation appears to be coming toward an end, right? You've got so many things that are culminating that would insist that perhaps it is coming to an end. Oh, I hadn't heard so, the Democrats say that. That's well, no, but I think I think we all, it, it, I mean, the, the way he's interviewing witnesses, the way he's bringing I don't assume people, anything. We don't, okay, you're right. We don't assume anything, but it would not be, uh, you know, a, a, a crazy assumption to think that this is not coming to an end sooner rather than later. However, um, you know, on this particular point, look, Rudy Giuliani is digging his own mess. So why do Democrats want to step into it? He's const constantly contradicting himself on television. Um, you know, a couple months ago, I think it was in May, he called Michael Cohen an honest man. He did not he, know about this tape, though, and that's what he has been he's saying. He's now coming forward and disparaging the credibility of the tape. I think the last person in the world who Donald Trump and his current attorney, Giuliani, would want to criticize is Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen mm. knows a lot. And he will be. How do you know that? He says he knows because a lot. He wasn't his, his attorney for years. If, but if they were so terrified, and you know, obviously the president and his associates know the content of the meetings that they had with Michael Cohen in his office and some of the phone conversations. If they were so worried, they would be. That's where you would come up with radio silence, not necessarily from Democrats. Well, Julie, Giuliani says he wants them. everything yeah. that's out there. Whatever is gettable, he wants it. I don't know. I, I mean, whenever I hear the Clinton cleaner out there defending the Trump cleaner, Lanny Davis. yeah, it just, my ears feel <laughs> dirty. Michael Cohen. I mean, I just feel like I want to wash them out with something because it's all so tawdry. Um, Lindsey Graham said earlier today, I think it was, or over the weekend when he said, um, you know, I, I've been a lawyer for a long time. I've never seen a lawyer behave this way, talking about Cohen. 
Cohen and the fact that he recorded all of these conversations with clients and now Lanny Davis is saying the reason why he did this is because he liked to record things rather than taking notes. Well, I, I don't buy that. That's not what well, lawyers do. And Josh Napolitano, our senior yeah, judicial then, analyst here at Fox right, News, has said to transcribe that is, them, <laughs> which is twice as much work. He has said that it is actually not like rare that people would do this because of the phone devices that people might record to help take notes. It makes it easier contemporaneously. And I mean, you can get an assistant to help you transcribe. I don't but think in as that a lawyer moment, you want that much detail, though, in general. I'm just saying that's the judge had said that it wasn't uncommon. See, I, I think it's an interesting conversation to be having about the tape because it's the president's voice is on one of them. Yeah, but to wouldn't me, you tell the president that you were recording him if you were his confidant? I mean, you should have. You would assume, I think, Trump would be understandably upset to learn that he was surreptitiously recorded by his own attorney and that tape is now leaking to CNN. That's like a can nightmare I, scenario for I Trump. Just add, but sorry. I, I just want to make one point. Rudy now has gone on TV twice today on our network and another one saying that collusion is not a crime, which is a change or a pivot from there is no collusion. And I'm sitting here, I'm watching Rudy, and I'm wondering, is this Rudy sort of being the pundit? Or is this a new legal strategy? Because they have insisted and sworn top to bottom there was no collusion. And if the president's top lawyer now is out there seeding this messaging on television that collusion wouldn't be a crime. That seems like a bit of a change. And on Fox and Friends, Rudy said, you notice we played the clip, he said, President Trump was not at that meeting. Donald Trump was not at that meeting. That was never the allegation. No, was that, that he was knew never about it beforehand, thing. not that he was there. That's an odd denial of something that no one is alleging. Well, and you bring up such a great point, Guy, because it is true. We have not heard this from Giuliani so far yet, right? We've heard Trump time and time again on Twitter, on national television, at rallies, saying, I didn't collude, there was no collusion. Now you have his attorney who's going on cable news constantly saying, Oh, by the way, collusion is not a crime. But doesn't, well, doesn't not that constantly. have more? constantly. We've heard it twice. I think that has more to do, though, I with we'll why are they more. investigating if it's not a crime? I and think I think that's what that is I think, to Guy's about. point, I do think that is a legal strategy. Well, they're looking at obstruction right now more a, than a anything. shift like that, there's, there's something intentional going on. And back to Michael Cohen, he only had three clients. And he, maybe he foresaw this, and this was his insurance policy to make sure if he were doing um, so many untoward acts on behalf of his very few clients... But he was getting paid. I mean, you don't have to be shady. You could just do your job. Or if you're shady, you're shady. Well, there's we'll that. <laughs> we'll cover the news as it happens.